Hi, Johnny Lynn, Harcourt's Pinnacle Lesley, video blog number 8. Um, so it's 8.30 in the morning, I'm on the way to the office today. I just decided that, you know, it's been a bit a bit of a crazy time this week that I haven't had much time to do a video blog. Um, you know, this will be one of the very last few video blogs that I've been going to be doing during the year, um, considering everything's finishing up soon. Um, so basically, you know, the, the topic that I want to really talk about today is basically the cost of marketing versus effectiveness. And I mean um, by personal marketing and prospecting plan um, you know obviously the question that we always have is you know how much money do you have to invest or how much how big of a percentage do you have to invest from your total yearly yearly gross income to make maximum profit and and so I want to have a quick chat about that as well because you know I tend to find that my way is very very cost-effective um, you know and, and it works for me anyway so um, in terms of time saving as well, so the big thing um, that, that I do is steal my farm areas letterbox drop fully sealed envelope, fully sealed envelope. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, over my farm a over my farm area, I probably put up around eight to ten thousand letters, um, which are hand which are hand delivered every single month, um, and that goes out continuously without you know without even me having to know you know know about it. Pretty much, it it just gets out. And in terms of just listed and just sold, so for every property that I list. We do both a just listed letter, which is fully sealed envelope, 300 of it, as well as a just listed flyer. So it's black and white, uh, printed on A4, um, A4 paper, in-house, 3x3, three three, you know, chopped up into three different things. And that, that goes up pretty much. We've been doing that from day one. So it's all about building a strong presence. But obviously, because everything is done in-house, you know, that it's, it's pretty much very, very cost-effective cost as well. Um, and from what I can see, you know, the rule of thumb is generally you need to invest roughly 10%, um, 10 of what you want to make during that, you know, during that that year in terms of gross revenue into into the office. Um, obviously, part of my 10% as well includes a lot of my presents that I buy, as you guys know out there as well. Um, so, you know, pretty much before what I would recommend for 2013 when you do your plan, sit down, cost out your entire plan all the way, you know, all the way from start to finish, look at the final figure and and obviously if it's a figure that you're happy with then you know you are going to follow through with the rest of the year as what I tend to find is you know if you if you have no idea what you're doing in terms of constantly every month you know it comes a time where people you know where agents go whoa I can't afford to spend that but you know what you realize that although you can't afford to spend it you can't afford to not spend it um, so basically that's all I can say today happy game day everyone and I'll speak to you soon